This is the Morris River Bluffs. I took off from the picnic table that's on the white trail that's just over the peak and this is the Morris River that I'm flying over now. Actually, I think I'm still on the beach because it's low tide. But you can see the marsh and I will get over that in a little bit but I actually do some flying around here. I thought the sun as it was setting was a beautiful scene so of course I do a panoramic of that and I love the way the water is so still here that you get a solid reflection of the sky on the water it's just it's kind of mesmerizing really uh, not so much in this scene I don't think but you'll get it as we turn around a little bit and I'm like just flying up because I'm familiar with this area I do a lot of hiking here and Longtime subscribers know that I do a lot of hiking here because I record a lot of videos here and a lot of the angries that you're going to see are days from the same hiking trip that I took where I went out here and I flew the drone and I recorded some angries. But that's where the beach comes out. That's where the end of what I call the road is. It runs from the road right to there and it's kind of a swimming spot. It's also a place where a lot of uh, boat boats land and they do their party and whatnot and that orange spot right there that's me because i'm wearing my orange white briar hoodie and so it, it made it very easy for me to pick myself up on the screen but i'm also like uh, i move in and out because it's like right on the edge and so you know i fly by myself and you can see where i'm at and where i'm standing and but i get a little bit wary about how far i am but you know i'm like hey you know i just want to show that I'm here but I also want to show how far above the water that I am so I go down and I, I had to be able to see my drone to be able to do this because there's trees all over the place and whatnot and now I'm actually at you know, about two feet over the beach level so now you see where water level is and I go out a little bit and again you can still see this if I were to get closer to them there are actually osprey nests in those trees you can kind of see the stick cluster that is there and then I'm gonna cut that so yeah but then as it comes around you can see the reflection of me and I'm about 12 feet from the water at that point and then I take it up and I take it, I believe I take it all the way up. But well, I'm watching this for the first time since I flew it. And it's been about a week since I flew it. So uh, we're just going to go with that. I go up fairly slowly. And if you look, not the tree I'm standing next to, but the larger tree that is to the right of that on the screen. That is actually a perch where uh, a male eagle hunts. And I like to sit and watch him sometimes. I think it's very interesting. His nest is on the barricaded side of the white trail. So maybe you'll see it sometimes sometimes as you're coming around the white trail he'll be up there and he's not usually disturbed because he's about 50 feet from the ground where you would be standing and you would be standing where I'm at but so I take it up and I change the angle so you can get an idea you can see the tops of the trees and I like the way they look all fluffy underneath because they're trees you know it, it makes it interesting even the pine trees look all fluffy and then you can see the other side of that bluff and you can see the marsh over there and how the streams cut out and how the trees reach up to it and how it, it's just it, it's marvelous really it's so natural and I think it's interesting that it's all kind of turning brown and yellow now because it's I filmed this in September and it was still mostly warm and it's actually for the the second of October it's still fairly warm but you can see how the the streams are cut in and I think it's man-made the way that it's straight like that because that just doesn't seem like it's natural there are some things that are kind of wavy but those straight lines always lead me to believe that it, it, it's man-made and I believe that the river has been routed almost everywhere in South Jersey and it's believable if you look at it in different spots especially the way it runs through cities uh, they may have let it go a little bit but I don't think it's been running exactly where it's at everywhere. Now in the far distance, I believe what you are seeing is, um, I think that's factory over there, the roofs. But I can't get all the way over there. In fact, I can only get the distance that is the, the river and the grasslands, the marshland, 
and I'm about as far out as I can get now and part of that's because there's a lot of pine trees in the bluff bluffs and plat uh, and plat um, and pine trees block Wi-Fi signal as well as cell phone signal so they dispromote the idea of long range but I'm still able to get around a little bit and I do a panoramic a little bit so you can see how the sky looks because I think the sky looks really good on this day and I usually do think that it, it looks great when I fly the drone and that thing all the way in the distance that's a cloud it just looks like it might be something else it looks like uh, ATST from the Star Wars series um, and then I get back and I'm starting to get a low battery warning now not too low because I still got a decent amount of flight time but I'm getting I, I want to say it like 40 percent so I start you know flying in the idea that I'm going to come back home and I think that the way the grassland looks is very interesting so I think I take this out as far as I can in the other direction and I find it very interesting the way that the detail Yeah, so I find it very interesting the way the detail of the grass comes and the reflections and the currents in the water. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think I'm just playing a little bit. So yeah, you get a good view of how the sun is setting on the trees. And then I want to say I take it out from here and I can see a water tower from here. And that's in South Millville. It's just going to take it to places like Country Ghettos. And I think that's actually what that... Uh, is on the other side of the grasslands there is uh, country meadows but I call it country ghettos because it's a really ghetto trailer park in South Melville and the patch that's almost directly across from that that's going to be Delcy Gardens and then the water tower that is further from there that's actually part of the industrial park and you can see the stacks from the industrial park and that's quite a distance from where it is but that's Orange Street in, in the distance there and and let me see if I can't pop up some text there so you can you can see that. But I like the way the details of the grassland looks because it, it's I'm like 150 feet above the water here, and it's still interesting to me how much detail I can see. And I am looking to upgrade my drone, but we're a distance from doing that. But hopefully I'll be doing that around uh, Christmas, maybe tax time. Not because I'm gonna get a whole lot back in taxes, but because I'll be working by then. And then I'm I'm actually looking at getting the Mavic 2 Zoom, but there's been some issues with the Mavic 2, so I'm going to wait until they, they situate those. But I like the Zoom because then I can get, you know, 100 feet off the ground and look like I'm 25, or I can get 400 and look like, like I'm 100. And I think that could be very interesting for things. But the main thing that I really like about the Mavic 2 is that it has a 5-mile range. And that's variable we all know that you know pine trees and all these different things that could block it but a five mile range allows me to get to places that i otherwise wouldn't be able to get especially while i'm out traveling the country and i get into some of the mountainous areas and different things i'm going to be flying my drone all over the place and i'm going to want a drone that goes a long distance maybe by the time i'm buying one they'll have one that goes a further distance than that but i don't know that they're going to be able to do that but if you look really close here, you can actually see where I'm at. And at this point, I'm realizing that I'm in a patch of trees. And I'm trying to get back to land it. And I'm getting all these warnings and stuff about how, you know, my battery's getting low. And I have to return to home. But I'm worried about doing the automatic return to home. Because I'm in the forest. So I have to actually manually bring it back. And I don't mind doing the manual, bring it back, and but it's going to be a little shaky because I'm kind of in a hurry to do it. Even though, while I'm doing it, it it's even though while I'm doing it, it is actually running down. And so I'm, you know, and the faster you go, the quicker you run it down. So I'm just trying to get it back to myself. But since I realize that there's only a little less than a minute left on this, I want to thank everybody for watching. Of course, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you can see the picture table there. And, you know, of course, I want you to like the video because you guys like these things. You like them narrated. Do you think it's awesome? I want you to comment on it. You know, I said to hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to 750 subscribers, and I'm not going to be too far from 1,000, and I'm going to keep working on that 
A uh, thousand's not, you know, it's just the next big milestone. It's not where I'm going to stop at. I'm not going to stop. Not unless they force me to, and they're not going to force me to. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I want you to click on one of these other two videos popping up. I'll see all my friends later.